What's up guys, today I'm taking a look at the Vostede Nightshade in a full length video. This thing is awesome. I've been absolutely thrilled with it so far. Vostede was nice enough to send this one along for me to check out, by the way. But as always, I'll give you my full honest thoughts. And really, it's very impressive. They also sent me some coupons for you guys if you're interested in the Nightshade. Sharp AF5 gets you $5 off the Nightshade or Sharp AF20 gets you $20 off the Nightshade and Shark Bomb Pry Bar Bundle at Vostede.com. So here's what's cool about it. First off, there's some history behind the shape. There's a lot of inspiration from a Taiwanese Shilin cutter and a Kukri. You can see the handle has the curves of an eggplant and the blade is shaped like a bamboo leaf. And then there's also the way that the blade is angled down. It's a very ergonomic shape. It's a very effective shape. And it's extremely comfortable in hand. And you can see with this blade, there is a lot of belly. I mean, the whole blade almost is curved. So as you can imagine, it does a great job of cutting and slicing. It's easy to use and it feels very natural. They also did a great job with the factory edge, one of the best I've seen with thin paper, thick paper, cardboard, rope. It did a great job. And the nice factory edge paired with this blade shape, it excelled in all of my different cutting tests. The action, and what I mean by that is the deployment and the closing are both phenomenal. The detent is tuned in perfectly with the light switch method. It does great. It's going to fully deploy each and every time. Even if you try to fill it, you're going to be hard pressed to, to do so. And because of the flipper location being below the pivot, you can also use the push button method. Sometimes with knives, like they can push button, but they don't do a very good job of it. Uh, but this does a great job of push button. And sometimes, you know, if it's one that's not very good, if you kind of angle it down, it makes it easier because you get a little help from gravity. But this one, even standing straight up with this tall blade, um, it's just as easy. So. Awesome that you have multiple methods of deployment, light switch push button, and you can even reverse flick it. There's not a fuller on the blade, but there's a whole lot of blade exposed, so you can reverse flick it. And on the flipper tab, there's some nice jimping all around there. And as you've probably noticed by now, the drop on this thing is incredible too. It's not shake shuddy, it's ball shuddy. You don't have to shake it, it'll just drop. Very smooth. There's good access to the liner lock on this side. Easy to disengage. The flipper falls to your thumb, it's already past the detent, and falls shut the rest of the way down. That's one thing I've noticed with Yu's work, the designer of the knife, Yu Don. He used to work at Kaiser Cutlery and then started Vosteed. But he designed the Kaiser Cormorant, a really cool knife. He also designed the first knife ever for Olight, the O-Knife Drever, uh, among many other knives. But his knives, not only are they practical, there's definitely a fidget factor there too. And you definitely get that with the Nightshade. But anyways, I love the Nightshade. This is the LT or light version which is a little bit cheaper than the original. It's about $69 before any discount codes. And I think that's a pretty good deal considering it comes with 154cm steel, a good mid-range steel, and such a well-finished knife. There's black or gray G10. The gray one looks really cool. The original Nightshade was $129 with M390 steel, with a brass bolster and black G10 or a copper bolster and micarta, 
but those original ones I think sold out. I'm not sure if they'll make any more or not. Um, but Vostid also makes some really nice kitchen cutlery. I haven't tried any yet. I probably will. But from the reviews I've seen on Facebook, they're pretty nice. So let's show you guys real quick what comes in the box. Very cool packaging. It's like a tin can, but it's soft. Um, you could definitely uh, keep this to store like little parts in. It comes with a little knife pouch with the Vosti logo. A support card, warranty info, contact info, knife specs. The customer service with Vostid is great. If you're not already in their Facebook page, go check them out. They're very interactive in there. You can see what else they're working on, and they do some giveaways sometimes too. So here's some size comparisons. Let's do the Benchmade bug out. This is the full size bug out. And here is the Civivi Elementum. And the Spiderco Dragonfly. Just to give you an idea of the size, it's a medium ish <laughs> sized knife. I can get a four finger grip on the handle with a little bit of room to spare. It's, it's like a four, four and a quarter inch handle. But why don't we take a look at the full specs? It's a liner lock with a flipper for deployment running on caged bearings at the pivot. The handles are G10 with skeletonized liners. The blade still is 154 cm with a full flat grind. And the stock thickness is 3 millimeters or 0.12 inches. The blade length is 3 and a quarter inches or 8.3 centimeters. The handle length is about 4 and a quarter inches or 10.8 centimeters. And the overall length is about 7 and a half inches or 19 centimeters. There's jimping on the flipper tab and along the spine. And it weighs about 3.6, 3.7 ounces, or 104 grams. And the pocket clip is tip up, right side only. Here's what it looks like in your pocket. The disassembly is really straightforward. T8 pivot screw, two T6 body screws on each side, and those are going into two hourglass standoffs and two T6 pocket clip screws. I really appreciated how easy it was to take apart. There wasn't too much thread lock. The last knife I took apart just had globs of glue. It was a complete nightmare to take apart. This was a breeze in comparison. It has an internal stop pin, which means the stop pins are on the blade and run in these tracks on the liners. And I was actually surprised by the bearings. There's nothing wrong with these bearings at all, but I actually thought they might be multi-row bearings, like on the Kaiser Towser, just because of how crazy the drop is. I just don't know how these are so smooth. But other than that, nothing too surprising with the takedown. Very straightforward. I put it back together with some Gunny Glide. I'm doing some experiments between Gunny Glide Nano Oil and KPL to see which one is better. I think I already know which one I like best, but let me know in the comments what your experience has been. I'd be really interested to know. I also have all three of these, I think, in my Amazon store under Knife Maintenance. Overall, I've really enjoyed the Nightshade so far. It's fun to carry. It's been very useful for daily tasks, even food prep. The tip does a good job, too, of getting under straps. Anyways, I'm excited to see what else Vosteed comes out with. Let me know what you guys think about the Vosteed Nightshade in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That's it for me guys, thanks for watching. Yeah.